Hi, my name is Nina, and for today's interactive presentation, we're going to be doing vinegar and baking soda rockets. So the materials you're going to need today are going to include a water bottle, either three pencils or three pens, um, and you're going to duct tape them like I did. And then you're going to need baking soda, and then you're going to need some vinegar, and then you're going to need a cork and a paper towel. And I already added about a teaspoon on my paper towel. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it and then twist it, hoping it's enough baking soda. What I'm going to do is then pop my baking soda into my rocket. Okay, well, well, that's okay. So, I would say that experiment partially failed, and I think what could have happened was either I didn't have an actual cork, and I had a rubber cork, so that could have caused um, some, uh, it not being able to pressurize enough, and also maybe I didn't have enough vinegar or I didn't have enough baking soda. So let me just talk about the what ifs and what I've seen on the videos as far as um, what causes that acid and base reaction for the rocket to actually launch. Um, and what that goes into is vinegar and baking soda um, cause that chemical reaction because baking soda is a base and then vinegar is an acid um, that is dissolved in water. And so when you mix an acid and a base in the solvent, um, which in this case is the water, um, usually the acid is gonna transfer hydrogens to the base to form a new compound. In this case, the new compound is called carbonic acid, which then decomposes to water and carbon dioxide. And a base, is a compound that wants to donate electrons and an acid is a compound that wants to accept electrons and so baking soda and vinegar want to make H2O, H2O which is water and so baking soda is OH and vinegar is H so as it's forming they react um, and so they're also releasing CO2 which is the gas that is causing that tension um, causing the rocket to launch and explode, which we did not see today, but I'm sure if you look it up, you will be able to see it. Um, and then apart from that, um, an easier way of understanding this experiment is that baking soda and vinegar react with one another because they both have a lot of energy that they don't want and they help each other get rid of it in the sense of exploding and causing that rocket, which we didn't see today. So. Failed on my part, but like I said, I think the big caveat to all of that was the baking soda. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I hope it works out well for you.